Good evening, Gary Smith, Andrew Danlishan. Thank you for joining us after this 2-0 victory away at Old Church. It wasn't pretty, Gary, but we got the job done. Yeah, um, happy, obviously, we've won the game. Um, and it's kind of funny that you say that because before the game, I told the boys, um, don't take Old Church for granted because they're sitting second from bottom. Um, it's a cold February night and uh, if you want to win leagues these are the sort of places that you have to come roll your sleeves up work hard be solid and resolute uh, and grind the result out you know and obviously it wasn't pretty um, we got used to the conditions obviously um, later in the second half we were much better but yeah I thought we thoroughly deserved the three points in the end Andre we didn't have many chances but Chris Lake scored the two that he had yeah, um, I think it was a, it was because of the pitch. Um, it wasn't conducive for making chances or opening out. And I think um, Smudge mentioned it in the in the team talk about staying in the game and not giving teams a foothold in the game in terms of conceding and, and something to grab onto. Especially because Alba Church are fighting for their lives. Um, Leite, leite has got that that bit of magic. Um, you know, he, I thought that he took his his second one. Especially, I thought that his finesse and sort of his composure in front of goal was excellent. He actually he actually won't going to play today because um, he's had the bruise deal and um, he decided after communication to take his sort of inner soul out what he was given by the doctor and he said that it was it felt 100 times better so it was only by chance then in the warm-up that he came over to smudge and said oh i'm actually okay he said it feels okay when i'm um, warming up he wasn't actually even on the team until we made the, the change about five to seven so for him to come on um, and score the two goals it, it's just brilliant for the club brilliant for Leite as well because um, he's been out to come and score them two goals but he's got that quality and he, he's, had, he's got you know um, he's got a great ability to finish and be sort of ice cool in them moments um, and, and when he comes on as well in them times I think it gives a boost to the lads great two finishes though unbelievable Gary a bit of a reshuffle really because of the head injury to Jimmy Fry Mm -hmm. which then put Rashard Francis on and then Aaron Ford into mm -hmm. midfield. Then Aaron gets sent off. I think what I'm alluding to is it was difficult to get any fluency going through midfield with all the changes tonight. Yeah, it was um, obviously, you know, you can't legislate for a, a red card and uh, uh, the head injury that Jimmy has uh, sustained again tonight. Um, but, uh, you know, we've made the changes and we've reshuffled and uh, we jiggled the pack as much as we could, as best we could, to make sure we stayed in the game, obviously. Um, and in the end, as you can see, it's it's worked out in our favour, so yeah. Andre, three wins on the bounce, three clean sheets, which will delight you more than most. Yeah. And back to the top of the league. And uh, of course, we face bottom club Redditch United away on Saturday. Any danger of complacency? No, not at all. I think it's um, one game at a time um, and, and each game's worth three points. So it's not to take anything lightly. We've come down to Alva Church um, where it was probably nil-nil for 65, 70 minutes. So I, I, I don't think you take teams lightly. If you look at their results as well, they've lost two lot, one to Royston at Royston. They've lost one nil to Stalbridge. Um, so two good teams there and, and Redditch was fighting for their life. So there'll be no complaints in that changing room. If anything, it'll be about um, respecting Redditch and, giving, uh, and planning the same what we do for every team. Gary, Saturday would it be in El Plastico, um, mm -hmm. 3G pitch again of course at, at Redditch. Would that suit us in the way that we set up and try and play football? Um, oh, top of the league as Henry, like top of To the be league. fair, to be fair, obviously, you know, we, we, we're accustomed to playing on a 4G pitch, so uh, uh, maybe it might suit us um, and hopefully we'll, we'll be able to put on a, a performance. Obviously, the last couple of games, you know, we haven't been able to play affluent football. Some of the pitches we've played on lately haven't been too clever. Um, so that might suit us much better. Um, and hopefully, you know, we'll be able to play a bit of football and uh, get the ball down and, you know, pick three points up. That's what we're looking to do. Um, Andrew, if I can just finish on uh, the injury front, how are we looking with the injury to namely Jimmy, but yep. any others that we may have picked up and also with uh, Joe Magunda's recovery? Um, Jimmy's obviously a head injury, um, so we'll have to speak to sort of obviously physio and that and, and if there was any concussion and sort of go through the protocols there to make sure that Jimmy's sort of safety is paramount. Um, Jimmy's a brave lad, he's had two of them I think, he had one at um, Lesser Nirvana earlier in the season um, So and he's, he's gone in there again and put his head where it's hurt, so you know. Uh, Jimmy's brilliant like that, um, so hopefully he's okay. Um, in terms of Joe Magunda, he got assessed tonight. Um, it's not as bad as first thought, so we're hoping um, that he'll be back within maybe four to five days. Um, that's sort of the diagnosis from the physio. Um, in terms of more injuries, um, Ahmed Obeng, um, 
today, he had some treatment, manager has been brilliant um, in terms of coming in yesterday and doing extra work with Tyrell Waite um, in his own time and doing extra work in his own time with Ahmed Obeng, actually going to his arse. Um, they should be back um, in and around for Saturday I reckon, um, but we just have to monitor it and see how the, in, each individual recovers. Okay, thanks for the information and as always gents, thank you for your time, we'll catch up with you again on Saturday. Cheers, thank, thank you. you.